Hey there, water signs. Welcome to What Does Spirit Want You to Know? This is a general reading. Um, we're doing it for each and every sign, but it is a general reading. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. I am going to timestamp each video so that you don't have to go through all of the signs just to get to the, uh, the reading that you would like to see. Um, so how we're setting this up is these are general messages from spirit, okay? If you would like to watch them as Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, maybe even Jupiter, if you want to keep it in that scope, please, by all means, go right ahead. However, if you would like to maybe go a little bit deeper, I encourage you to look at your birth chart. I do have some links in the description box to a website that will give you a pretty, a really good, accurate representation of your your birth chart, um, and they do give you options of calculating either Western or Eastern, whichever one you resonate with. I personally resonate more with Eastern, um, but I do like to keep things open for everybody in case you know you don't necessarily resonate with that. That might change in the future, but whatever. That's a topic for a different di different day. Um, so if you want to go a little bit deeper, go ahead and draw up your birth birth chart and pick out which planet you might be wanting more information about. Um, might be maybe having a little bit of trouble on um, whatever area of the, of your life that you're maybe trying to get a little bit more information on. Look at the sign that that planet is in, and then check out that. That reading okay you might get some really really valuable messages again these are just general messages from spirit what the spirit wants you to know so if you're looking for a little bit of a deeper understanding I encourage you to do so but if you don't want to do that you want to keep it Sun Moon rising Venus maybe even Jupiter go right ahead that's acceptable too so how we're gonna do this I'm going to pull an Oracle card for each sign okay we're starting with the unicorn Oracle and then I'm gonna be pulling a tarot spread for that sign and this is the uh, Crystal Visions Tarot, and that spread is going to be the same as my general freestyle spread. So two sets of current energies, your your challenge, and then the final outcome, the potential outcome, or at least the final message Spirit has for you, all right? So without further ado, let's get straight into this, guys. So yes, keep in mind that this is going to be time-stamped, so you can switch through, yeah, or skip through, okay? All right, guys, let's do it. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. What would you, Spirit, like the water signs to know? Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, we are starting with you, yeah? So let me just give this a little bit of a shuffle here. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, maybe Jupiter or whatever planet you're trying to look out for. We're talking Cancer right now, yeah? Woo. All right, Cancer. Let's see, what does spirit, or maybe even your higher self, want you to know? Cancer. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, there it is. All right. So, you have got, all right, so underneath the deck, you've got gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. And I really feel like maybe a lot of you at this moment in time, I am recording this on, what day is it? This is November 3rd. Um, so you might be kind of feeling like you're in a little bit of a hermit mode right now. Um, you might be all up in your shell, just trying to protect yourself, kind of stay out of the, the fire, the crossfire. Um, if anything extreme is going on in your life, you might be feeling, um, just a bit sensitive or a little, a little more sensitive than normal right now. And that's okay. Self-care is really key at this moment in time. And then your card here is strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. So yeah, a lot of you really may, might be feeling like you need to protect yourselves. You need to practice some self-care. You might be going through a pretty extreme situation right now. You might be going through a bit of purging 
and they, this could be really some heavy purging. This could be why you might feel like you're all up in your shell. Don't worry. Everything is okay. Everything is going to be fine. And actually, this situation is going to be is going to help serve to um, make you much stronger than you were in the past. Yeah, once you do actually come out of this. Okay. So let's get into the tarot spread here, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. I'm gonna give you three shuffles, and then we'll get into it. What does spirit want you to know, Cancer? All right. Let's cut the deck. All right, Cancer. Put that there. That works. Overall energy. You've got the Ten of Pentacles here. So I feel like whatever you're going through is ultimately leading you to a completion, to abundance, to family, to maybe even the, um, you know, the material abundance that you might be looking for. I feel like there is a lot of energy putting into a situation for the long haul, or at least what Spirit is saying here is what you are going through right now, Cancer, what you're experiencing, even though it might be trying and tumultuous and pretty heavy and rough, this is going to serve you in the long run, okay? This is going to help you serve to add to your abundance, whether that be materially, um, well, that is going, that is materially here because it is the Ten of Pentacles. But the Ten of Pentacles is about longevity, all right? So I really feel like um, this is adding to your longevity. The, 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 you overcoming this situation right now is going to lead to um, you just being stronger in the long run. For some of you, this could really be leading to a family situation, okay? Wow. You've got strength twice here, Cancer. <laughs> Holy moly. That's kind of awesome. You've got strength in the um, the unicorn deck, and now you have strength here. So this, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be connecting with a Leo. Um, you could be, have Leo in your chart, or someone that you're connecting with has Leo in, your, in their chart. Um, you might want to check out, see where Leo is placed in your chart, and, and, and maybe watch that reading. But ultimately, um, you know, you got quite a bit of strength here. You've got the Seven of Cups, and you've also got the Four of Swords. So this is definitely talking about you being in your shell, meditation, taking a break for some time, um, doing some self-care. So you're really pulling on your own strength to get through what is going, what's going on here for you. And with the Seven of Cups, I feel like there's a lot around you um you might be you might be purging you might be dealing with a lot of different options you might be dealing with a lot of different things that are popping up in your life that you're having to deal with and these are of an emotional nature okay because seven of cups um cups is emotion all right um, I'm definitely getting a purgy energy here for you cancer but ultimately this is good because it's serving you in the long run it's going to help you find that longevity, that Ten of Pentacles, maybe even that family life that you've been seeking, okay? Cancer is a very uh, family-oriented sign. So I, what I feel like, what you're going through here is really helping you align with the family that you might be seeking, okay? And, and if you're already, if you already have a family, um, it's helping you come closer with them. It's helping you be more available for them, Okay. First set of current energies, what the spirit wants you to know, Cancer, you've got the hanged man. Yeah, you're definitely in your shell right now. Um, you're definitely going through a situation where you are needing to see the bigger picture. You're working towards seeing the picture, the bigger picture. You Maybe you already are seeing the bigger picture. And maybe it's because you're seeing the bigger picture that you're kind of purging, maybe, or dealing with things, okay? The hanged man is coupled with... The Six of Wands. More Leo energy. You really might have Leo in your chart. I know me personally, I have a Leo rising. So maybe I'll want to, maybe, you know, there's some messages in there for me. Um, but you might be connecting with Leo. Again, you might want to see where Leo is in your chart and look and, and, and um, watch that reading. 
watch listen to those messages here but ultimately it is the six of wands is also about victory okay i really feel like the more you see things from a different perspective the more you work towards seeing things from a different perspective the more victorious you will be okay this is also a message of trying to keep uh, make sure you like work towards keeping your um ego in check because the Six of Wands can talk about egotism, egotism and like pride. So maybe you're going through a position where you have to see how your pride and your ego has gotten in your way. That might be, that really might be a message for you. Also, you might be a Cancer Leo Cusper too. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. This is a good thing. You might be, and, and it's funny, I really feel like this purgy energy that you're experiencing and um, you being in your shell and trying, needing to protect yourself and work on you, this is, you're doing this, you're doing this step by step, or at least you need to be doing this step by step, okay? Um, you really have a very, very good opportunity to put some, a lot of things that may have been troubling you over throughout your life to rest. You have the Seven of Cups here. Um, and I really feel like that's a, like a bunch of different things that are needing to be worked out, okay? And with the Knight of Pentacles, this is an excellent energy to have in order to do this. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Um, and he does things methodically, piece by piece. He doesn't leave any stone unturned. And that's really, I feel like that's really how you want to, need to be, or are approaching this situation right now. Conversely, there could be someone coming into your life slowly but surely. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Leo, Cap uh, Tor sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, Knight of Pentacles is coupled with, woo, woo the devil. Now, like I said, this could be a Capricorn. Also, though, Capricorn is your opposite sign, all right? Capricorn is very stable, very solid, very methodical. Uh, very process-oriented, too. Detail-oriented. And what I'm getting here is you are, work especially with the devil, you are working through anything that has been holding you back. And it's so interesting. I really like how the devil is depicted in this deck because it's a woman sitting under a pomegranate tree with this devil in the background kind of like, play it's, he's playing a flute. Yeah. It's really, it's really, I really like how this is depicted here. And now the pomegranate tree is abundance, right? So as I was connecting with this deck and I was looking at, well, pomegranates are about abundance, but I was looking at this and I was like, wow, this woman has such abundance around her. But then there's that, that, that devil in the background that's almost like coaxing her to, to, to believe that she doesn't in some way. Okay. But this is, so what I feel like for you cancer is what's currently going on for you right now is that you're going through a situation where you might be reconnecting with your abundance. You might be coming out of, um, lack mentality. You might be healing from that. You might be starting to recognize how abundant you truly are, but at the same time, if it's not that, then you're just working through, you're slowly but surely working through, um, anything that has held you back in the past. You could also be very much in your Capricorn energy right now. And like I said, the Capricorn is your opposite sign. So you really might be focused on your finances right now, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Finances, abundance, your material, your material life. Your current challenge, if things aren't challenging enough, Cancer, <laughs> you got... The Hierophant, okay? Taurus, could be, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You might want to watch the Taurus video. You might want to see where Taurus is in your in your chart. Same with, with, um, with Ca uh, Capricorn. Learning. The current challenge is learning. Maybe, maybe sticking with the status quo or maybe even just releasing yourself from the status quo. Releasing yourself from 
um, the conditioning of the hierarchy, okay? But also learning. I'm getting a, bit, a strong learning vibe here with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is coupled with, ooh, the Eight of Wands. But the Eight of Wands is in reverse. That's really interesting how that has turned out here. I'm going to go with it. Lack of movement. Lack, lack of movement, lack of communication. Maybe feeling stuck or stagnant. But see, this is what you're ironing out here. Now, this could also be a representation of you being in your shell. Guarded, protected, not really communicating with each other or, wow, with each other or with anyone else. Um, uh, this is interesting. If you're connecting with someone, you're not communicating with them because of the status quo or because of society, societal pressure. You're keeping to yourself, basically. But you're keeping to yourself mainly because you're learning some new things. You're learning about yourself. Okay. The final message here for you, Cancer. King of Swords. Could be connecting with an air sign. Um, but this is where you are right now. Or at least this is where you should be, where you would need to be to really be as effective in this purging, this clearing that you're going through. King of Swords is coupled with the Eight of Swords. And so what the final message here is for you, Cancer, is um, to be as discerning as possible. You don't have to be in this mental prison. So look at things as objectively as possible and see how you can cut yourself out from this this prison, this mental entrapment. What has been holding you back? What is keeping you from moving forward, Cancer, with the Eight of Wands in reverse, in the Hierophant? Learn about that, okay? All right, Cancer. And underneath the deck, remember, you have the Four of Swords. All right? So there it is, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Next, we are going to get into Scorpio. It's very interesting that that one card came out in reverse. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. So give me just a second here. Let me just reshuffle. Oops. Okay. Well, these cards popped out. The Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. They did fall out in the reverse. Four of Wands, Six of Cups. There's a blockage when it comes to... A soulmate connection, um, uh, a foundation between a soulmate. This actually, I feel like this is a general message, not just for the sign of Scorpio, but for Scorpio season, because we are in Scorpio season right now. And what I feel, uh, what, what I feel like this is saying, Spirit is saying here that because these two did fall out in the reverse, all right? Um, and so what this is saying here, there are things that are coming into alignment within Scorpio season that are helping to bring soul connections together, that are helping to solidify the foundation between individuals within a soulmate connection to, to, to help individuals become more solid within themselves. There's also a clearing out of um, situations from the past, whether that be with childhood, whether that just be with family in general, um, there's healing involved. And underneath the deck, we have the Page of Wands. And to me, the Page of Wands is self-discovery, okay? Um, so we really are, we might be, so a lot of us are really going through a period of redefining ourselves in Scorpio season, learning uh, new things about ourselves, um, you know, self-discovery, self-realization, that kind of thing, okay? So let's get into the message here for Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Let's give you this one shuffle. And then oh, one shuffle. All right. All right, cool. All right. So let's get, let's get your Oracle card here, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All 
All right, for Scorpio. Woo, there we go. Patience. Underneath the deck is magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. All right. Death and transformation season, you guys, is we are in Scorpio season right now. But also, um, for you, Scorpio, I mean, you're all about transformation, okay? So as you continually transform, you know, keep making wishes. Keep believing in magic, yeah? You've got patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Okay, cool. So let's get into the tarot spread here for you guys. What does spirit want you to know, Scorpio? Scorpio. Death and transformation. One more shuffle. Poor Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What does spirit want you to know, Scorpio? All right. Underneath the deck, you've got the Three of Swords. Heartbreak. This doesn't necessarily have to be in a relationship, guys. This can just be anything that's just heartbreaking to you. I feel like, for the most part, a lot of this is in the past. Okay? You've got the Page of Pentacles. You've got the Three of Wands. And you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this was in the past. Because now, um, throughout... And this is a situation where you're, you've kind of learned from the contrast a little bit here. Okay? And so... There could be some of you, I'm getting an energy with the Page of Pentacles here. There could be some of you that are like really starting to adapt a more loyal, um, loyal and honest, uh, way of life. Um, or at least you have come out of whatever this Three of Swords energy is for you. This could be in love, but this could be in business, finances, family situations, whatever. Um, excuse me, you kind of emerged out of this situation a brand new person here with the Page of Pentacles. And with the Three of Wands, now you're you're embarking on a new journey and you are um, waiting for a return on an investment or just waiting for some new ships to come in. And all the while, you've really been doing the work. And I really feel like you're continuing to do the work here with the Eight of Pentacles, Okay. And this would be this would be the, the 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 time and energy and effort invested into what you are now waiting for here with the three of wands. And what I'm getting here is spirit is saying to you that there is there could be some offers messages coming through here. There really is it's coming in with the three of wands. Okay, just have patience. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We've got the Queen of Cups. Um, you could be connecting with a Cancer. Uh, this could also be you, but for me, Scorpio is really represented more by the King of Cups, and Cancer is represented by the Queen of Cups. But this is intuition. This is insight. And you are very, very intuitive, Scorpio. So there is a lot of energy of needing to trust your intuition, but also needing to just kind of sit back and kind of observe right now. To me, the Queen of Cups is not someone that really lets her emotions out too often, um, unless she may know you too really well. But um, the King of Cups is more expressive with his emotions to me. And so I really feel like right now is a time to like sit back and allow things to unfold and can, and observe. Observe from the point of view of what your intuition has to tell you about something, okay? Queen of Cups is coupled with the Hanged Man. Yep, it's time to fall back um, and to observe. To gain a sort of new perspective on things. You could be connect connecting with Pisces. Pisces could also be in your chart. Yeah, I'm hearing lay low for a little bit and just observe. Allow your intuition to guide you at this moment, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We've got the King of Swords. Discernment. 
Um, you could be connecting with an air sign. Air could be in your chart. The King of Swords, to me, this is very much Aquarius energy, okay? Yeah. Um, but this is a time for discernment. So as you're sitting back and allowing your intuition to really guide you, think of use that information from a logical point of view. I apologize uh, if you hear any music in the background. There's just people living their lives. It is a Saturday. <laughs> um, yeah, there's definitely a need for discernment. To a need to like hold, maybe even hold your emotions back a little bit, and more, maybe lead more with logic. But don't deny your emotions. Don't stifle your emotions. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. But do it more on an internal point of view and lead with your logical mind right now, okay? King of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Cups. So when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to situations dealing with like family maybe, or emotions, you need to be as logical as possible. I feel like for some of you, there might be a family situation in which the emotion emotions are running really high right now. And instead, it's, it's best to maybe detach a little bit and use your logic. But now also for some of you that are wanting to build a family, to have a family, you have to look at the situation from a logical point of view, okay? Discernment. Oh, that's <laughs> that's my roommate. <laughs> okay, never mind. Anyway, um, all right, cool. Current challenge for you, Scorpio. The Empress. Aries, Libra energy. The current challenge here is doesn't feel so challenging. I think it's really recognizing the abundance that's around you, Scorpio. Okay. The Empress is coupled with, ooh, the King of Pentacles. You have a lot of kings and queens here. So the challenge. Some of you might be looking to attract a King of Pentacles. Some of you might be looking to be the king of pentacles. The challenge here is to understand that you are worthy of it, that you have the ability to step into this power or to connect or to, to um, attract this. Now, the king of pentacles for me is Taurus, and Taurus is your opposite sign. So, and actually, uh, the empress does represent Taurus uh, because the empress represents Venus. Venus is the ruling planet of Taurus and Libra. Okay, so you your challenge might be being in a bit of your Taurus energy right now. You might want to watch the Taurus reading. Uh, also, Venus is in retrograde right now. Is 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 in retrograde in Scorpio. So what I feel like is. Venus being in retrograde right now is, and also with the last full moon that we had, which was in Taurus, there's a lot of changing, a lot of redirecting, a lot of growth happening for you right now. Okay, Scorpio? Cool. So your challenge is to really work through that. To be as practical and, and down to earth as you can about something. To really, really be in your Taurus energy right now. Okay? Cool. Your final message, Scorpio. What does spirit want you to know? Five of Wands. Competition. Conflict. Inner conflict. Maybe even outer conflict. But I feel like most of this is inner conflict here, okay? But also, it really could be competition. Five of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Cups. Dealing with the opposition, okay? Maybe uh, I think... I think the, the, what, what I'm picking up here is the final message here for you, Scorpio. What the Spirit wants you to know is work through this inner conflict in order to really bring yourself the Nine of Cups that you're seeking. Wish fulfillment. 
what might be blocking your wish fulfillment right now is this inner conflict. So really work on, I really feel like Spirit is saying, work on ironing out this inner conflict. Um, become more stable within yourself. Work on releasing yourself from the, the drama of it. Um, I really feel like some of you might be standing in your own way when it comes to your wish fulfillment. So if you're having trouble with, you know, this investment, the return on the investment that you're waiting for or your ships to come in, I think a lot of the blockage here is that inner conflict that you might be experiencing, okay? All right, Scorpio. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Next, let's get into Pisces. Just a second here, guys. Let me just reshuffle. Woo! Four of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Okay. All right. So we're doing Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right. Let's get into this for you, Pisces. Just gonna shuffle one last time. Pisces. Pisces. All right, Pisces, what have we got for you? Pisces, what does spirit want you to know, Pisces? Okay, you've got two cards here. You've got hope and you've got receive. Underneath the deck, you have awareness. Live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance, okay? Your overall theme here, we have hope. Stay positive, the worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Some of you might have gone through a really intense situation. The way that this card is depicted, um, you know, this unicorn's mane has been shaved off and now it's regrowing. So I really feel like a lot of you may have gone through a situation where you had to cut out a lot of the fluff. Something was really removed from your life. Um, you've gone through a major transformation and now you're de dealing with the rebirth and the regrowth. And you might be feeling like all is a bit lost, but it's really not, it's really not that bad or it's not so, okay? All is not lost. And finally, you have received. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. I'm really getting an energy of some sorrow here, Pisces. Like, you feel like all is lost. Like, you feel like you're never going to be able to get what it is you want. Or you might have just dealt with a setback recently. But honestly, that setback, I feel like, is working in your favor in ways that you're not really aware of right now, okay? So... Let's get into your tarot spread here, Pisces. Whoa, what does spirit want you to know? There's a card that's flipped over here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Pisces. Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to find you. There you are. Okay, cool. All right, Pisces. Let's get into this for you. Pisces. What does spirit want you to know, Pisces? <laughs> Last shuffle here, Pirate Pisces. <laughs> Last shuffle here for you, Pisces. All right. Let's do this. Boop. Okay, okay. Pisces. Overall energy. You've got <laughs> the devil. Yeah. You could be dealing with Capricorn. Um, but this is the energy I'm feeling. This is that fear, that hope is, that, 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 that all is lost. Like you've lost hope. Like, um, you know, things are never going to work your way. Things are never going to go into your favor. The devil here is that, that, that voice of the ego that's doubting, that's fearful, that's trying to make you doubt something. Okay. And you got it. Ooh, wee. Yeah. Well, here you go. You've got death. Um, this is Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Um, there was a message that came out for Scorpio season. You might want to check out that, that part of the reading there. Um, but this is a transformation. And see, especially, especially with, um, you know, hope here. And, and with this, the way this is, 
the, the way this is depicted, I'm uh, sorry if you hear a bunch of stuff in the background that shows my roommates, um, but the way this is depicted, you know, this, this, Unicorn has gone through a transformation. Their mane has been cut off and now it has to regrow, right? So uh, this death and transformation, this is what's happening for you right now. You're transforming. You're going through a transformative period. We are in Scorpio season. So Scorpio, at least as, this is, as of when I'm recording this, it is November 4th. So this is Scorpio season. This is a transformative time, okay? Um, you also have the Ten of Wands here. Okay, and underneath the deck, underneath all of that, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is very uh, abundant, okay? She's very loving, very nurturing, very caring. You could be dealing, connecting with an Earth sign. To me, the Queen of Pentacles specifically is Capricorn, um, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And then also we have the Devil here, which is Capricorn energy, so you really could be connecting with a Capricorn. Or, you, you know... Um, planet, there's, there's some... I'm not an astrologer, guys, but there's something going on. Some certain planet is in Capricorn, and whatever that is for you, that could be affecting your life as well. Uh, you might want to check which house is Capricorn is in for you. That could be really be that could really be um, under. I want to say under fire <laughs> for you. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles here, in re in relation to this, for you. Pisces, I'm getting an energy of just abundance, compassion, okay? But you're really going through a transformative time, especially with awareness being underneath the or the unicorn oracle deck, okay? So let's get into your situation here. Oh, I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands. Um, I really feel like you're releasing a lot of burdens right now, okay? So that might be why your mane was cut. Why, why your long flowing locks have been cut because you, there was just, it was too burdensome. There was too much associated with it. It was something that you just really needed to let go of. All right. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. You've got the three of wands. Um, so check the Scorpio reading because the three of wands did come out in the overall energy for Scorpio. If that, that might resonate with you if Scorpio is in your chart. Uh, but you're waiting for a return on an investment. And actually, it's funny because I, I said in the beginning that you might be dealing with a bit of a setback. Well, um, that setback is not as bad as you think, okay? And with receive, you also have receive here in your oracle. And then with the three of wands, it's like you're waiting for your ships to come in. And they are coming, okay? Three of wands is coupled with the seven of pentacles, the harvest, okay? So it's coming in. You've done the work. You're about to you know, reap the benefits of that work, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, two of swords. Yet there's something you're kind of made, you're feeling indecisive about something. You're blindfolded to something, really. Um, you may have cut yourself off. If you've dealt with a setback, you might be in an energy of refusing to see the light, refusing to see what's in front of you right now. Or you may feel like you can't see enough to make a decision. Two of Swords is coupled with the Five of Cups. Yeah. I feel like this is an energy of you're kind of dealing with some sort of shame, regret, remorse. And I'm, I'm hearing you have to let this go. It's time, and especially with awareness here, it's time to look at the situation and make a decision. And that decision could just be to move forward, to keep moving on, okay? Your challenge right now, Scorpio, temperance. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But With temperance here being your challenge, it's about being patient because you do have death, okay? You have a transformation that's happening. Uh, the universe is working with you to rebalance the situation. So have faith and trust. Just be patient. Temperance is coupled with the sun. See, everything is going to be just fine, Pisces. Hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Well, here's the light right here, Pisces, the sun. Okay? Everything's going to be just fine. 
things are coming into balance. Things are much better than they seem, okay? The final message here for you, Pisces, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Excellent. This is independence. This is abundance. This is like the Bachelor, Bachelorette card. Now, some of you might not, Some I'm getting an energy of some of you don't necessarily want to be single, um, but also some of you are working towards this, and that is coming for you. It's coming in, and, and I'm really getting a lot of abundance here for you, okay? Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Empress. Boop! What did I just say? I have said I feel like there's a lot of abundance here for you. Well, here is that abundance with the Empress, all right? Um, also, the, uh, as of the moment that I'm recording this right now, it is November 4, no, 3rd. It's November 3rd. Venus is in retrograde, okay? So um, uh, some of you might be continue to be single throughout Venus retrograde, but also Venus in retrograde is helping you to acquire your abundance here, to really solidify your abundance. And that's through this death and transformation that is happening for you, okay? The challenge here is to be patient, to be patient. Because there is a major transformation that's happening for you here right now. Okay, Pisces? Open yourself up to receive. Don't keep yourself closed off anymore. Open your eyes. Look at the, like, look, feel your pain and then release it. Because look, you've got two cups behind you that are being offered to you by the universe here. All right? And that, those two cups really, I feel like, is the balance within you, union within yourself. Okay, so go with it. Have fun with life, I'm hearing. All right, Pisces, so there it is. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.